Oh, hi! I'm Ryan Fabian. Welcome to Terrifying World. I'm going to talk to you today about the Black Death. The Black Death of the 14th century is the plague that we all know and love, but Black Death is a name that would come later. During its time, it was called the Great Plague, and it was a Great Plague. In fact, there would be lesser uh, occurrences of plague that would plague Europe up into the 18th century. This is the one that hits in the big, scary Middle Ages. You say the word plague, and this is the one that comes to mind. And we know so much about it because it was so well documented. There are whole genres of plague art and plague literature. It hit people in the western countries and they tended to write a lot of the history that we know today. Europe was ripe for disease. It was just coming out of what we now call the medieval warm period. It was as if Europe were subtropical or something. There were reports of winemaking going on in England. Crop yields were high, and Europe was prospering. And this is the high middle ages. This is the shit that all the geeks go crazy over with knights and chivalry and kings and battles and stuff. But then, then it starts to get a little bit colder. So the climate's changing, there are floods, crops are failing, people are starving, people are dying. The famine continues, and then in 1346, a trading ship sails in from Kaffa, and on the trading ship there are rats, and on the rats are fleas, and inside the fleas guts there is Yersinia pestis, the bubonic plague. The plague breaks out in Italy. Everyone loses their mind. Nobody knows what this is. They're completely terrified. There are all kinds of weird ideas of where this is coming from because nobody knows what's happening. Nobody knows what's going on. So they say, you know what? You know what caused it? You know what? You know what did it? There was an evil battle. There was an evil battle way out east, and all these dead non-Christians floating in the water, kind of their stench kind of permeated the air and it blew west and now it's infecting us all. There's a modern myth about how plague was spread into Europe and it goes like this. They say that the Mongols took their dead, their own dead that died of the plague, placed them on giant catapults and catapulted them over to the Genoese, infecting the Genoese with plague. You can't say it happened. You can't say it didn't happen. I do think it's funny that they think that one of the ways plague was spread into Europe was by means of dead bodies flying at you at high speed with a catapult. Whoosh! Ports. It's undeniable that ports were very important when it comes to the spread of plague in the Middle Ages. Ports were a great way to get disease across because rats could travel on ships and you know scurry along shore to wherever they're gonna infect next. Now imagine that you're walking along the docks with a buddy or something and you see like a ship come out of the mist and you're like, geez, he better slow down. He's kind of going kind of fast. Is he gonna go kind of fast? He's like, yeah, he's going kind of, kind of fast. And he comes out of the mist and it's coming full speed and you're like, oh, we better go away and it crash lands you're like geez what's wrong with these people you go on the boat everybody's dead everybody's dead and they got these crazy sores on them and there's dead rats everywhere you're like man I'm kind of itchy <laughs> you better get out of here well you probably just got bit by an infected flea and now you're gonna carry the plague around the fleas are on you and you know it's it's a big mess and that probably that's that's probably how a lot of plague got spread all throughout Europe. Death came quick. Carbuncles, buboes, diarrhea, vomiting blood. People are evacuating cities like Venice and Florence. The people who stayed behind saw their deaths as imminent. And they did what a lot of people do when they see their deaths as imminent. They partied hard. They turned evacuated houses into party pads. You would never party as hard as these people. These people were partying really hard. They're partying, they're partying, they're partying, and then they start dropping like flies. Death was imminent. 
death was here. And they would be left to die by the rest of them. And in many instances, boarded up so they couldn't infect anyone else. Plague gave rise to new penance cults, like the Flagellants, who would walk around from village to village, whipping themselves bloody, whipping themselves bloody. They were really famous for a time, they were really popular, but soon they degenerated and became almost criminal, and you could, it got to the point where you could be burned at the stake for being a Flagellant. You were a heretic. You jerk. No amount of penance could have gotten rid of it. They didn't know that at the time, but their efforts were futile. This is a major world event. This is a major historical event that had implications far deeper than anyone could have imagined. And we'll be talking more about it next time on Terrifying World.